Hello, welcome. So friend, in this video, we will talk about the, the creating Oracle integration where we will call BI report and the data, whatever data file we will receive from the BI report, we will place that data file over SFTP server. So here you can see this is uh, our SFTP server. So here we, our requirement is to place the BI report data file. So let's begin. So here friends, if you will see in previous video, I have created two separate videos. One video where I call the BI report and send the BI report data over email and another videos where I have called the BI report and then after we read the data of the BI report and the same data we inserted into ATP table. So these two uh, video I have created separately you can find in the playlist also here BI report call in YC playlist I have created in the channel also so you can check from there. So now in this videos we will create another integration where we will we will add the logic to place the SFTP file over SFTP server, place the report file over SFTP server. So let's make a clone of the previous integration. So I will give the name call BI report and send report file over SFTP. So now let to clone. So here you can see our integration is created now, right? So here first we require SFTP details. So this is our SF SFTP directory where we have to place the file. Right, so first let me make a copy of the path. So this is the report path. So what I will do. So now I am going to make a copy and the same values I will assign here in the default variable. So here now you can see I will use when var underscore sftp directory. And here we will add the path. The same path we will map in the mapping so that in this path only we can place the file. So friends here now now done so validate and close so now here if you will see we don't require to send data over uh, data in ATP table so I will delete this endpoint now here if you will see what we have done is that the first uh, variable we have added some some default values which we are going to use in the in the integration and next you can see we call the SOAP with the help of SOAP we call the BI report the data which we receive we uh, we created the file of the data using write stage and now here you can see this is the endpoint for reading the data of the file so while placing the file over sftp server we don't require to read the read the bi report data that's why i will delete this read endpoint also right even we know we know that we can directly place file over sftp server by passing the file reference that's why we don't require that one right so now we have to place the file right so for placing the file we require ftp adapter so i have already created ftp connection that xx ftp connection i will drag here so now here you can see in the connection we need to provide the endpoint name so i will make it as as, uh, as we are going to create file over sftp server so we will use write write and it is ftp so i will use write ftp now next here it asks the operation so as we are going to create file over server right that's why we have write file operation so i will select here and it's asked the directory from where we have to write and the file name so i don't know the file name we have the file name in the in the stage operation also only where we we generated the file based on the report data right so for the uh, both things like output directory and the file name we will pass in the mapping so for 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 that that's the mandatory part here in the endpoint that's why i will provide anything right a star anything you can provide x y z anything we will pass this two in the mapping only so now next here it's asking the file structure do you want to provide the file structure while writing the file so no i just don't want to provide any file structure that can be the file can be the csv file pdf file or any file so we cannot read that file we, we don't have requirement to read the file we just have requirement to call the bi report get the data and place the file over sftp server so we will directly select no and we will directly pass the file reference and done so here you can see our endpoint for placing the file over the sftp server is done and here we have to provide the mapping so this endpoint will ask three things the first thing is the file name location where we have to place the file second point is that the file name what will be the file name and third one is the file reference from where we will get the file so here you can see write a report for stage with the help of this endpoint we created the file right so if you have not watched previous videos you can go and you can check out this playlist right in the playlist in the first videos i have explained all the endpoint what i have added here everything right you can get go and check that one 
so now go for the mapping so in the mapping first we need to provide the file name in the output ftp header type only so here file name so this file name we from where we are getting the file name so we are getting the file name from here only the right response in the right file report file we we provided the file name that it return the file reference and all the this all the details so here you can see ics file and that properties you can see we have file name and the file directory everything so this is the file name for which we need to place the file over sftp server this is the directory of the sftp so we have already created one variable to store the sftp directory so here you can see we have where sftp directory so i will map here and now in ics file we need to pass the file structure or we can say we need to pass the file reference so what file we have to uh, put over sftp server for that file we need to provide the references so we have this write report file in that we have file reference so we will map this file reference so that whatever file it generated the, the the right report file generated the file the same file we map in the right ftp so that same file need to be right over sftp server or that will create the file over sftp server only so now just validate and close so here you can see we we get the file name from this endpoint only so if you will see the this endpoint we already provided the file name here this is the file name right so that's why we don't require anything so now done this is the complete endpoint complete integration where it will get the data from bi report convert that bi report uh, data that is the base 64 into file reference with the help of this endpoint and the this endpoint endpoint will return back the file reference the same file reference we pass here so that the same file need to be move our sftp server here so you can see right now we don't have any file so let me just save and run the integration so here you can see in this integration we have not added any validation or any scope for handling the exception as i am just giving you the brief about the integration that how we can use the endpoint so i will create separate videos where i will explain you all these things how we can handle the exception where we need to add the exception and all all these things so we continue on the watching the video so here you can see this is our instance so just waiting for the completion of this uh, integrations it will take a little bit of time to execute so right now you can see it's in progress once this integration will be completed successfully the file or whatever file we have that will be pushed to the server so now you can say it's completed if you will move to the server and if i will refresh i will get the file here you can see so in the file creating the file name i provided the this hard coded values with the timestamp that's why here if we will run the integration again if we will go and run the integration again it will push the another file over server right so 210 so here just wait for this instance so you can see what file we have we have file as csv why csv because i have read the data call the bi report with the csv output format only if I will pass the PDF, so our PI report will return back PDF data. You can see it's completed successfully. When I will re reset, you can see we have second file. The second file time is, you can see the time is different. The first file is put at the 12.52 and second one is 12.53. This is the CSV. If I will change the format of the file, right? So while calling the BI report, we pass the format, right? So if we will pass, change the format as PDF, the PDF file we will get over SFTP server. So here you can see if I will edit this one here we added the report output format as CSV right so instead of CSV if I will pass XML right so it will return back file in XML format right and it will generate the file and that XML file will be placed over SFTP server only so let me save here close and if I will after activation if I run the integration you can see one eight sorry let me make a clone of that one so that each and every time i don't want to navigate so directly i will go to the tracking here this is succeed and now if you'll go to the server and if you will refresh you can see this is the xml file we received so if we will download the file if let me download the file right so here if i will download these two file 
I can show you the both file we have in the fourth format, right? So if I will come to here and this is the two file, right? If I will open these two file in Notepad, you can see this is the CSV file and this is the XML file we got, right? We got from the BI report. So even if you will see if we can uh, if we can make an output format as PDF, we will receive the PDF file. Right. So let me show you all these things so that you don't have any confusion. And friend, obvious, I am doing hard work like right, for creating the videos uh, and creating the like uh, content for you. If you do, you like the the way I am explaining or like like the videos, don't forget to subscribe and make a comment on that videos. And obvious, don't forget to like. So here I provided the report output format as PDF. So what it will do is that. So here I have mapped this variable while calling the report, right? So in this in this point here, you can see while calling the report, in this uh, in this out uh, like uh, in the mapping our attribute format, we passed it variable where report output format, right? That's why our report is returning that kind of data, whatever format we are passing. So here we have added format as PDF, so it will return back PDF file. Right, so let me save. I will add exception or I will add a scope block here so that we can handle the exception everything. I will create next video for that. So we continue for that. So now our integration is ready. We will activate this integration. Submit and instance you can see 1.9. If I will go here and remove this valid filter 1.9, right? This is the 1.9 instance if waiting for the completion of this instance. You can see PDF file we will get over SFTP server. So right now in, it's in, in progress status. You can see it success if you will go server and if you will refresh, you can see the PDF file. And if I will open this PDF file here, this side, and if I will check this PDF file, you can see the same data here. You can see this is the report data in, in the PDF format. So this is the complete videos where I'll show you how you can create integration in such a way that the whatever data BI report will return the same data we can place over SFTP server. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and make a comment of that videos if you like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much again.